did want to bring up because I saw him jump in here real quick. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, Miguel, he, uh, he's he been working for a long time. We've been in kind of like this mastermind group talking about different ideas of projects and things like that. And he brought up uh, one thing a little while ago is the idea of gamification, right? And it seems silly, but like making um, things fun and interactive is what we're going to be talking about a little bit later. But um, yeah, so uh, Miguel, uh, um, Dan Mapes is going to be joining us today, and his whole discussion is going to be about that interconnectivity of uh, real world uh, experiences and spatial um, places and that overlay of the digital. So it's really interesting when you talk about these things as being connected or there's an overlay or it just makes it fun um, is that when you're in a community in Tijuana and you see a, a situation that needs to be cleaned up, it'd be great to drop a pin and notify, you know, a church organization. It looks like this needs help, right? It looks like this this needs uh, something uh, uh, that could be addressed and, and people kind of accumulate around it. Uh, we're hopefully going to be integrating some AI components into this whole project concept because you need to know when there's water pollution happening. And we'll just bring up that image again. If you notice that there's a salinity spike in an area here, it should be automated and it should send up a red flag. And our, our friends that talked about it yesterday at NAG Inc., they talked about you know real-time data and real-time notifications and being able to know when a salinity spike is happening or this forest is being uh, uh, negatively affected by the current conditions or it needs water, like you can gamify and you can uh, integrate this, this connectivity and overlay that with uh, kind of uh, information approaches. So I wanted to thank you for that real quick. Um, Alan, um, Dennis is still here. Maybe we can talk about, if, if you can, Alan, sorry to put you on the spotlight, but um, that overall conversation that we had originally um, and uh, that, that discussion about how we initiated uh, the Laguna Salada project and how our predominant um, goal is to um, benefit the Kukapa tribe that are there. Maybe we can talk about that real quick if you jump in, Alan. I'm gonna kind of uh, go through our list too if we have anybody else that wants to speak um, or have any questions. Anybody that wants to drop in, just drop something in the comment box. Um, it looks like we have a couple different topics going on. And we have uh, some music coming up at 12.30, about 15 minutes. Uh, so that should be happening soon. Do we have anybody that has any comments? You can raise your hand if you'd like, um, or just jump in or unmute yourself if you wanna kind of ask a question, uh, feel free. Let's see. So overall uh, discussion piece that we're kind of coming to, uh, we're gonna take a break for a little bit and then we're gonna jump into some other discussions with Ethan. Um, oh, Gabby, you have a question? Yeah, please. Hold on, you got uh, your mute on. I had never heard the word gamification before. And so I just briefly looked on my favorite uh, search engine, Twitter, uh, which has a lot about gamification in Mexico. Uh, the Internet of Trees in Mexico is showing how to use digital solutions to involve people in the development process and make cities greener. And uh, just wonderful things. Uh, if you, I, I think you're really on the right track uh, with gamification, uh, spatial uh, inter. Uh, individual um, contributions to an online network in a kind of gamification way. I'll just add one last thing uh, by one expert who said, got to have dice in the classroom. Very cheap and can be used for so many things. Kids love it. Roll the dice with a group and then you have to describe something in that many words, like two or three or five. Um, even spatial inequalities uh, in communities. In a
uh, the reason being and how it is kind of just a placeholder for now, but could be uh, modified over time. Do you want to go into that real quickly? And if Thomas has anything to say, we can jump back to him. 